YouTube! How you guys doing today? It's Mike. This is Jenny. Pratt Family Homestead. Going to do a possibly quick tour of our pepper plants. I think we were originally planning on 17 kinds of peppers this year. And I don't know if we made 17. We'll go find out. You think we have 17 kinds? I know we don't. Oh. I'm the knows. record keeper. She's the record keeper. Uh, and actually, she's got the garden all mapped out. She mm -hmm. knows exactly where everything is. So... While we're going through this tour, she's going to be giving me the tour. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All right, let's go check out these peppers. All right, guys. So we're going to start with the Grande Jalapeno. Uh, I get so excited seeing peppers grow, and I love them. And the rest of the family thinks that they're too spicy for a lot of stuff, but a couple of the kids like it. Jenny likes a little heat. Um, uh, but we have... Uh, uh, bell peppers we have uh, some i think those like the goat horn peppers we're going to look at i don't think they're spicy i could be wrong but we just got a whole variety of peppers i love peppers i get excited when i see them they're changing colors and everything but we'll start with our grande jalapeno uh these are ready i kind of neglected and missed these this plant's not doing fantastic but there's more coming but this whole row was supposed, there are supposed to be three or four more in here and there's not. Uh, but this is another one that made it. This one look, doesn't look as mature, but these jalapenos I think can come off no problem. Well, some of these, like this one would be good. This one probably be good, but uh, so this is the, these two plants were the Grande Jalapeno and all of our pepper seeds came from Baker Creek, except I'm going to go ahead and take down to this one real quick. This cayenne pepper plant is saved seeds of ours from last year. And uh, the seeds were still originally from Baker Creek. Correct. But we'll be having plenty of red pepper flakes. And actually, we're not going to have red pepper flakes this year. We're going to have we're going to have multicolored pepper flakes this year. So, all right. We'll uh, oh, check this out. Just this is a volunteer potato plant. And it's one of our best looking, all of our volunteer plants are absolutely the best this year looking out of anything. So, uh, all right, we'll go ahead and take a look at the next one. One little side note here, guys. Um, the weeding has been severely neglected in the garden. I've been trying to catch up on it. Jenny's arm is still very painful, so it's really hard for her too. And uh, the area that we're in right now is, um, looking pretty good but when we get farther down it's like it's not it, it's like we're growing weeds we so, are growing weeds we're excellent <laughs> at growing weeds all right baby what we got here uh these are purple bell pepper peppers purple bell peppers they don't get as large as other sweet peppers but they are a sweet pepper they're green on the inside unfortunately when we can them they turn green they don't yeah. keep the purple color but they are cute little little peppers to add. Definitely add, you know, little color when you're just eating pepper slices and stuff like that. And the kids like them, and they look like little chocolate peppers. I love <laughs> chocolate. I don't like peppers, so it's a little deceiving for look, me. Look, your brain can't wrap yeah, around that. So I want to eat it. But now, are these going to get bigger, or is that the size? Um, they'll get a little bit bigger. They don't get they don't get as big as normal sweet pe bell peppers do. Okay, excellent. The next pepper going down the garden here is the Chinese five color pepper. Did I say that right, baby? I think so. All right. This is a really cool pepper plant and it looks like it has Christmas tree lights on it. Uh, probably another week or two weeks, these plants will look even, even more like a Christmas tree. They're really cool. They look like Christmas light bulbs. These are a very hot pepper. This one is bent and kinked and doing some weird stuff. <laughs> But there is, uh, there's a lot of peppers. They'll change colors. Here you can see the reds in this one. All these purple ones will change. These are very hot peppers. One plant would be more than sufficient for us, especially a plant like this. This is a big, nice looking plant here. And you can see the red and the orange and the yellow and the purple. And we believe there's supposed to be five colors, so we believe there's like a off-white also that it transitions through it at a, some point. So a couple weeks, I'll be posting some pictures on Instagram of these for sure. This is a plant I'm excited about just because it looks so cool. And I, um, I've read a lot of people use them as just an ornamental plant also. So 
All right, we'll go on. We'll uh, keep moving along. Take a look at some others. Okay, so in a few different places we have other sweet bell peppers. Um, I don't remember exactly which ones are which. I believe that this section here is under one, under the sunflower. Under the sunflower tree we got going on over here. Um, lots of great green ones and one turning orange. So that answered that question because <laughs> yep. I missed him at first. So these are our orange bells. All four of these are three or four of these plants? Yeah, whatever's mixed okay. in here. Um, but we pick them as green too because they're they're really good that way as well. These ones are one of our variety of red. I just don't remember exactly which one I planted here. If we uh, if we can figure it out with Jenny's maps and all that, we'll uh, we'll plaster uh, a note in here. But they're they're looking really good. He's almost ready to pick. Yeah. Mm, he's gonna be yummy. I picked a few just a couple of days ago and made um, a sausage stir fry with them. I had green, red, and orange. Oh. And they were really, it was all good. It was good. good. Where are we at? Right here, into babe? the jungle. Oh, yeah, into the jungle. Look at this kale plant that is wowzers out of control. We need to eat more kale. <laughs> all right. Um, all of these are California Wonder, and they are a red pepper as well. Oh, we got a little rod yeah, on that one. Ick. But they, these plants are just old. I think he has to go to the campground with us. He's nice. Right. Oh, yeah, we're camping this weekend, by the way. Come here. Just uh, plastered. Which, which, if you followed us on Instagram, you already knew that. Yep. With some great green ones. All of them. I mean, they, they grow. Hi, little bee. They <laughs> grow so well. And so, yeah. And we... And, and the kids, I, I cook with them. I can them. Yeah. And um, I cut them up for snacks. That's a, that's a great point. We we can't... You canned a lot of bell peppers, well, sweet peppers last year for stir fry and... Un, I, when they're fresh like this, we make stuffed peppers but during the winter when we don't have fresh peppers um, I make unstuffed peppers and I use my sliced canned peppers and just mix it into the mixture instead and do it that way instead of stuffing the peppers <laughs> all right uh, those are our sweet peppers let's go find what we're going to talk about next you got anything else on sweet peppers nope except that we got a lot of them we got a lot of them all right Okay, so the pepper we're at now are shishito peppers. Did I say that right, babe? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> These are, uh, I don't know if they're technically a sweet pepper, are they? But they're not a spicy pepper. The kids and myself every once in a while will, will think like a seed is kind of spicy. But these are, uh, these are awesome. We dry these and the kids are begging for them just to, to go take one off the rope or string and, and eat it. And So we had... They'll turn red like this here, and uh, this one could probably stay on a little bit longer. It tastes like a bell pepper. Very good, no spice, and the kids love these. We hang these up. We strung them up last year and just hung them in the window, and the kids would love going and grabbing one and just uh, chowing on it. They loved it. So we've got how many plants we got in here, babe? Five or six. Five, five or six, yeah. And we will do that with almost all of these. We will string them up once they turn red, and uh, and let them dry. This one could have gone a little while longer, but they turn a nice bright red like a red bell pepper, and they are they are good. They are a sweet, good pepper. All right, let's go check out some more. Where are we at? Uh, Faith's favorite. <laughs> the, these are called Buena Mulata, and they start off this very pretty purple. Some of them have kind of a, a pastel look, white look to them. Then they turn to an orange and into a red. We have a lot of red ones on this plant over here. This is a pepper we know nothing about. Uh, I, I picked out a whole bunch of peppers this year and I, I don't know anything about them, so we're trying different stuff. Kind of want to make our own um, like red pepper flakes and hot sauce and stuff like that. So experimenting with different levels of heatness and apparently these ones contain a lot of heat. Uh, <laughs> Faith, <laughs> Faith tried one and all she did was lick it and for like an hour her, her mouth is just very, very... And I had taken a little bite of one before, and I was like, well, that's not too bad. You can try that, because Faith likes to try some of the spicier she does stuff. She like spicy stuff. 
And so I had taken a bite of one, and it wasn't that bad. And then she licked one, and her lips were messed up for hours, and her <laughs> yeah, tongue was numb. <laughs> and then she touched her apple, and so her apple <laughs> tasted spicy, and she was a mess. And spicy she, apple. She did not believe Dad after that, <laughs> so she's not a fan of these. They, they do contain more heat than other ones that we have. Um, but if we can do something with them, it's they are. like hot sauce or something, I think that would turn out really good. They are pretty. Like these they red are ones are ready to, pretty. in fact, we'll go ahead and pick a couple of these, take them back to the campground with us. I'm not look at Look at this one. This one's almost like a purple, orange, and getting to a red also. Yeah. You got a good big one here. Awesome. All right. Let's get on to the next pepper. Okay. So these, mm, I guess seven or eight plants, Hungarian wax peppers, I have fallen in love with these peppers. I am adding them to everything. And I mean, look, this is a pretty good sized one. Oh yeah. They are, they are really cool. And then you can see, again, their transition from yellow to orange. And this one's getting red. Here's a nice full red one. That one's completely done. These can carry a little bit of heat. Man, look at that. That is awesome. That is a beautiful pepper. The seeds will be saved out of this one right here. Um, but this was, we we might have bought, and bought these peppers in the store before, maybe. I think once we did. But um, I saw them, I was going through Baker Creek's catalog online and uh, it, I just settled on this being a kind that I wanted to try and I'm glad I did. I am really liking this pepper a lot. Uh, it's got heat and good, good flavor, so. Uh, that's that. We got a lot of them, and we'll probably end up stringing these up as well, drying them out. So The right, house go. is going to smell like peppers like crazy. Oh, which is a good smell. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. What do you got there, baby? These are Tam jalapenos. And these jalapenos we planted last year as well. And everybody loves them. We use them for everything. Cut them up for on meals, on hamburgers, hot dogs, in in dishes, salsa, pico, you name it, we use these jalapenos. Um, we have six, six plants, is that what I counted? One, two, three, five, six plants. And I think last year we had eight, and we harvested hundreds and hundreds of jalapenos. Just in one day, I brought in 195, and that was one of the smaller batches. <laughs> I even and, made uh, uh, jalapeno dust. So I, spr yep. I sprinkle jalapeno dust on my nachos and stuff. And we made jalapeno jelly. And the mm -hmm. kids eat it, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So, I mean, they, they are very versatile peppers, which is great. They have heat. They have flavor. They are absolutely wonderful. And they grow so well. I mean, we're still swimming in flowers here. And we have quite a few peppers. And we've already picked quite a few peppers to use this year. And I think it's pretty standard. I, I think this would be a, a common statement in a lot of households, but these jalapenos are probably our favorite pepper. Yeah. Uh, other than the bell sweet peppers as well, but. Right. Mm. Some of them are just wonderful and they're ready for picking. So I think we'll be picking yep. when we're done. Cool. Good pepper to have. Yep, we love the jalapenos. All right. So all these pepper plants are different and they look cool in their own right. I've never grown Tabasco peppers before. And this plant looks like a bush and is awesome. You see these peppers are here. They're nowhere near ready yet. I don't, I mean, they got to turn red and stuff, but I am, I am dead set on um, making my own Tabasco sauce this year. So uh, granted the whole Tabasco sauce thing, it's a three year fermenting process that company does. So I'm not talking about doing that but I wanted to grow Tabasco peppers this year. I was dead set on it. And we got two plants in the ground and uh, I think the end result is gonna be excellent. I mean, this is, this pepper they're, plant they're is tall up, plants. To my, up to my big gut. <laughs> they're the, by far the tallest pepper plants that we have. Right, those Chinese five color, they got pretty tall last year. They're not getting as tall this year. Yeah. But these Tabasco plants look, they look, Tabasco pepper plants look, uh, look awesome. I love them. And I cannot wait to try them either. I don't think I've ever had a Tabasco pepper. No. I don't think I have. So we'll see how much milk I have to drink afterwards. <laughs> okay. Let's go check out our, I think it's our last one, right babe? 
Well, there's one more little one I want to show you first. Okay. And our smallest pepper plant award for the year so far? The lemon drop. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was a transplant not too long ago because for some reason none of them grew. And um, it has survived, but once it got to this size, it just kind of stalled out. And I don't know if it's because the weeds started to shadow over it too much or lack of water for a while there. Obviously the soil's wet. We just had some rain come through today. But hopefully he will go ahead and keep growing and we can figure out what a lemon drop pepper is like. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and it was another one that I just selected off Baker Creek, so yep. we'll see. We'll see what comes of it. All right, drum roll. All right, I didn't hear one. Um, I can't do our, that. Our, <laughs> our final pepper is the goat horn, and another pepper we know nothing about. Where they go? <laughs> they're green. Oh, yeah, they're camouflaged. They're hiding. Uh, but I bet you these are pretty tasty. I haven't picked any of these yet. This one? Oh no, I have picked one of these. Yeah. I bet you that needs to get red before it's real good, but... That's a long pepper. Yeah, it is. So that's our final pepper. Uh, we got, what, three plants in here? Oh, yeah, look. There we go. Oh, we got some rot on that one. Yep. Bye-bye, pepper. Um, this Sorry one I'll turn red. pick in a couple days when it is red and do a little taste test. The rest of them are hiding. And, I, uh, yeah, so I think this is one more, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's got some big ones. That's got some good ones. So that's all of our peppers, folks. Mommy. Uh, uh, yeah, so Mommy. that's all of our peppers. <laughs> and uh, uh, we'll talk to you again here in a second. Guys, so that was the pepper tour. Um, we, especially me, love peppers. Um, and I, I like uh, a little bit of heat in food. I can, I can eat some pretty hot stuff, but I like to have a little bit of heat with some good flavor and be able to taste what I'm eating. Uh, hear about these people eating, you know, stuff that their lips are falling off. That's all fine and dandy, but I... I don't I, think I, their lips actually fall off. No, but... <laughs> I think but, Faith felt that way after that purple one. I think so. But uh, I do want the heat and I do, I do want my mouth a little bit on fire, but I want to taste the food that I'm eating as well. So... Yeah. Uh, we got a great blend of peppers here, and uh, we're going to see how they all turned out. The plan is, next year, we're not going to buy any pepper seeds. Everything, hmm, maybe I won't say that. I think anything we're going to plant pepper-wise next year will be saved seeds from this year. Uh, unless there's a special pepper that I hear about that I want to try, which is very likely I'll hear about. Probably. Uh, so, all right. That's our peppers. Uh, you got to see our weeded garden. Or no, our weed full garden. <laughs> yeah, our, our jungle. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on in the garden this year. And uh, it seemed like it was slow taking off, but um, we can show you guys more. But we've been canning tons of tomatoes. Oh my gosh. Um, and lots of other stuff happening. So yeah. overall, pretty happy. And we should probably do a full roundabout garden tour here one of these days. See or a whole lot or of final weeds. product. <laughs> but uh, all right. Well, thanks for watching the peppers. We really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm Mike. I'm Jenny. Pratt Family Homestead. Please like, share, and subscribe. And check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you probably would have seen most of these peppers already if you uh, follow us on Instagram. I put a whole picture collage thingy. Yep. Collage. A collage. That's a big word for me. It wasn't all the peppers, though. It was only nine of them. Right. Oh, we got to counting. We believe we have 12 peppers. 12 yes. kinds of peppers. 12 variety growing. So, uh... It's pretty good. There, there was three, three kinds that did not grow. What were they? Tobago. Uh, a, a yellow sweet bell and grandpa's home pepper. I don't even know what that is. That was one of your weird ones. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Got me one. All right. Oh. <laughs> there Thanks. you go, YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a great day. Bye.